start stramming. What is up, guys? Welcome to the off-season stream. My name is Sim with Vengeance. I think I just said that. I don't know if I repeated myself or not, but I don't care. We're here for the off-season stream for the East Carolina Pirates Dynasty. And hold up, 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 hold the frick up. Okay. What up, everybody? What up, Lisa? Welcome to the stream. What up? Wow, we got we, everybody's coming. All right, here we go. Here we go. What is up, everybody? <clears throat> what up, Chris? Cubs won four to three yesterday. I know that was pretty. Was it four to three? I thought it was three to two. I could be wrong. Yeah, it was three to two. Coaching carousel, dude. I'm probably gonna. Yeah, we're gonna go through it all today. We're just gonna go through the off season and. We're going to see our schedule and all that stuff. Man, I'm, I got 14 levels in one season. Bruh. That's pretty neat. That's pretty crazy right there. That is pretty intense. So, yeah, if you're just coming into the stream, like, drop a like, uh, tweet out the stream to your friends or whatever, put it on Facebook. I don't really care. Uh, just make sure you got people out here going out to see it. Um, come out watching this awesomeness. Um... I don't know if you're watching it on YouTube Gaming or on YouTube or whatever, but we here. Uh, we got, we're pretty safe, I think, with our um, job security, don't you think? Five and one against the top 25. Uh, a plus prestige already in the first year. That's crazy. Usually you don't get that high, that high already, but huh, who knew? Who knew, right? Um, now hiring is um, Stanford after a 9-4 season. Um, I think they're going to resign. Um, Brett Belima is fired after going 5-7. And, <clears throat> and unexpected jobs. Let's see if I get offers. I just want to see what I got. Unexpected coaching jobs. Um, Boston College is hiring. Um, Pittsburgh is also hiring, but I don't think they're going to take me. Unexpected jobs. Chris Creighton left to take the head coaching job at Arkansas. Of course he did. Uh, Jeremy Pruitt takes his head coaching job to Georgia Tech. Um, that's pretty interesting. I'm not going to go to Boston College, though. Steve Adizio. Adizito. Adizio. Uh, say that three times fast. I don't even know how to say it right now. Adizio was fired after going 7-6. and six. <laughs> Our offensive coordinator and myself or on his radar i have no idea why uh sim to my next offer california is on the radar for an ecu coach uh boston college is still on my radar on the radar pitt hired a new coach they hired the guy from western kentucky um next offer colorado at Five and seven. Um, California at two and ten. They they are in desperate need of a coach. They got the offensive coordinator from Ohio State to be their head coach. Not bad. Let's go to the end of the carousel. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get. Yeah, but I'm not going to go anywhere. That's the thing. That's the whole point of the East Carolina dynasty is that I'm trying to re like I'm trying to go as far as I can with this team. This isn't a coaching carousel dynasty. I just wanted to see what was out there, really. 
Like, if, if I'm going to get any offers, like, okay, we'll, we'll see what we can get. But if, like, I'm not going to go out and take any of them. I just, I'm just entertaining the, the thoughts, really. Still level 14. No kidding. Probably not going to get any levels during the offseason. Coaching changes. There's probably a lot. Uh, any head coaching changes. I want to see head coaches only. Arizona got a, the same head coach. Um, Arkansas got a new coach in Coach Creighton. Greg Schiano got Greg Schiano got hired to go to Boston College. Chris Creighton to Arkansas. Kevin Wilson to California. Mike Matt Wells to Colorado. Um. Steve Adazito to y UConn. Um, Paul Johnson, the new head coach at Eastern Michigan. Jeremy Pruitt. Any big names? Lovey Smith got fired. Dana Dimel got a job as a head coach at Kansas. Tony Peterson, head coach for Kentucky. Um, Mike Norvell, Danny Gonzalez, Mark Stoops is now the coach of North Texas. That's interesting. Jonathan Smith, head coach for Ohio. Any other big names? I'm sure the big names didn't get fired. No, not really. Yeah, Eastern Michigan was really good last year. They were. They were. Uh, wow. I, wait, I actually got draft draft picks. <clears throat> projected fourth round is Jimmy Williams, and projected fifth round is Thomas Sirk. Uh, a lot of graduations on this list. Tyshawn Die, eighty-five overall halfback. Wow, I'm kind of surprised about this one a little. And then again, not really. What up, uh, Kairoki? What up? Um, holy cow. A lot of people graduating on this list. But we got two NFL draft picks. <clears throat> That's something. Um, Chance Purvis, transfer playing time. He wants to go to Louisiana Lafayette. Um... Okay, so I still got a chance. <sighs> what do you mean? Nine sacks is a good season. Nine sacks is a good season, my dude. My dude, did you want to transfer? Okay. Your loss, bud. Your loss. You might have actually started. But now you're just like, oh, I want playing time. You might have actually gotten playing time. <sighs> On to the next one. Nope. <clears throat> he might have actually gotten playing time. Thomas Sirk went to the fifth round in the NFL draft. That is crazy. Um, Jimmy Williams, fourth round draft pick. Kind of surprised there. Oh, wow. Just a lot of, uh, didn't even think I was going to get any. I didn't think they were all NFL talented, but I guess we'll, I guess things surprise us sometimes. Chance Purvis has, must have been dropped out of his head as a baby. He must have, because he's just, he might have actually, he might have actually gotten playing time. That's the thing. We didn't get any transfers this year. <clears throat> but you know what? That's all good. It's all good, man. Uh, recruiting. I think I'm only after a couple more players. Um...
God, I gotta dump like half my points on this guy. What up, straight out of GP? Because this guy's a really good athlete, and I kind of want him. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta drop like half our points on this guy. Otherwise, we're not gonna get him. He's the only guy I'm really after now, anyway, so. What up, your boy Dumbo? Welcome back. Ooh, Justin Bishop. I like that! <laughs> that is a thing now in the streams. I like that! <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get like an emote for that or something. That would be, that would be hilarious. Oh, Jesus. I, yeah, we like that! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get emotes for that, man. That'd be dope. That'd be hilarious. We just this this, this stream has been memed by Kirk Cousins. Even though like half the chat, half of y'all think he's trash. I don't think he's that bad of a quarterback. I just think he got screwed in Washington. But we'll see how he does in Minnesota, man. I'm kind of excited to see how he does there, man. When you get a donation, you gotta say it. Yeah, when when you get. When I get a donation, I gotta say that every time now. That's gotta be a thing. That's gotta be a thing. Em we gotta get an emote for that. Emotes, donation, every time, it's, some it's gotta be a thing now. We, we made this a thing. A and we've created a monster. Kirk Cousins isn't terrible. He really isn't. I just don't think that he's elite. He's like, top 12? Like, he's definitely worthy of being a playoff quarterback. He could win a Super Bowl with the right pieces around him because the Washington fucked him over. But that's just my opinion. Washington sucks. And they're going to continue to suck for the, the, the rest of their, their lives because they're miserable and Dan Snyder is a terrible owner. Dan Snyder is going to... He's, he's living alone without his franchise quarterback and he's going to die alone because no one likes cheering for the Redskins unless you're in DC. <clears throat> I'm so glad he got out of Washington. So glad. No, Kirk Cousins went to Minnesota. That five, $5 Kirk Cousins. No, I'm not. Kirk Cousins is definitely a top 12. He's a playoff caliber quarterback. He is. I just think he got screwed in Washington. He's a playoff quarterback. I'm agreeing with you. Why would I bet something where I agree with you? I think he's a good quarterback. I think he could lead a team to the playoffs. He's got weapons now in Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen. Fun fact, I went to college with Adam Thielen. And he was like a senior when I was a freshman. So that, that's, that's I kind of I kind of share that with some of my coworkers. I'd be like, I used to go to college. I used to go to college with Adam Thielen. <laughs> Ooh, we got Robert Stewart. We did not... As a matter of fact, get Justin Bishop, who I was kind of hoping we'd get. But you know what? I ain't even upset. But I can I can honestly and firmly say that I went to college with Adam Thielen. Anybody who could guess what college that is, like, will get, like, some sort of, uh, I don't know, some bragging rights, I suppose. Bragging rights are always good. Just to know your facts, I guess. We had seven scholarships remaining. Oh, I'm pretty sure we got some shitty ones, too. Ugh, yuck. We got that guy, though. That's the guy we wanted. Like, that's... Yeah. I'm surprised, though. Like, he just must have gotten, like, a full ride to Florida, and he's, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll take that. Is it a known college? Not in Division One. That's your only hint. It's not Division One. Um, let's see here. Um, do 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 do. Oh. I don't like the recruiting process either, but you know what? It's 
all, it's all good. No looking this up either. Don't use Google. No Google. You went to college with who again? Adam Thielen, wide receiver for the Vikings. Don't Google it. You gotta guess. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like hack your computer to make sure you aren't like, I'm gonna hack your computer if you if you go use Google, because I'll know. Because not many people know where. He went to college, neither, not many people know where I went to college. Don't, have some, have some integrity and don't use Google. If you're, if you're doing it, if you're gonna guess, have some integrity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to it. No YouTube videos, nothing. Just take, it's a division two school. Well, I'm, I'm not going to give away any hints. I, let's just say I'm from Iowa, but I did not go to college in Iowa. Youngstown State is Division One. They're Division One FCS, not Division Two. Minnesota State? Yeah, that's where, that's where, it, that's where he went. He went to, same colors too. Same colors as East Carolina, Minnesota State. Yeah, he went to, uh, me and him went to, uh, I went to the college at Minnesota State. Division two school. It was a uh, Minnesota State Mankato. Yes. Minnesota State is a college. It is the Division II school. And we are ranked number one. We were ranked number one this year in football in Division II. We were also in the Frozen Four. Well, in the NCAA men's college hockey tournament in division one minnesota state's like top five every year in football it's ridiculous we're also like top 10 in baseball and like top 25 in basketball we're like the ohio state of, Div of division two like we're good at just about every sport uh mankato minnesota it's a little town just south of minneapolis about an hour south of minneapolis Oh, that's such an ugly, ugly, God. Why? I'm gonna make sure that I, I could get a, at least my athletes in a position where, um, let's see what he looks like at a corner. Oh, he's terrible at corner. He's gotta play wide receiver. What's the population? About 55,000. None of these guys can play. Do a Minnesota State Dynasty where they transfer to D1? Did I ha I could. I very well could. I, I think it could work. Maybe after UAB, we'll, we'll talk about it. I just got to find the perfect team builder to, like, not make their uniforms look like trash. Or at least make them relevant, you know? It's hard to build the perfect, um, you know, uniforms for that one. What NFL team do I like? Tampa Bay. I'm not, I am I like Minnesota kind of second only because of Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen's like, I'm cheering for him for the rest of his career. I don't care if he goes to the Patriots. If Adam Thielen's on the Patriots, I'm going to cheer for the Patriots. It's just one of those things where I, I went to college with this guy for like a year. I can say I went to college with Adam Thielen. Joe Thompson has to be cut. Uh, he can be redshirted, but I don't think he needs to be cut.
I don't think he needs to be cut. More so that he just needs a year to develop. Kingsley Infetti. Interesting name. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, did they just call Gardner Minshew a scrambling quarterback? How? He's got a 69 speed. You're out of your mind. Um, Devin Anderson, Darrell Scott. Oh yeah, look at my O line. Um, 76 overall senior, but they're gonna jump in overall. Uh, 71 overall, and they're probably gonna be 78. Yeah, my offensive line is weak for sure, but we'll we'll, we'll make it work. Yeah, I need to I need to have bulk up on the offensive line. We got a few of them in the um. We got a few of them in the, um, what is it, the recruiting process, but. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the low line will old line's weak. Move a guard to center. Uh, it probably has to be right guard then. Probably gonna have to move a junior. Oh wow, uh, yeah, he's moving there. Thank you. <clears throat> Sixty nine overall, definitely taking that. Yeah, good call. Good call. Seventy overall freshman. Oh my goodness. Um, he is going to be a big time player, I think, this year. John Flowers. Giannis Bowden. Gonna be a big time player again. Can we move any of these? Oh, we don't have we have, we we don't need a move a corner, that's for sure. What's up, Shane? Um, hmm. Eighty one overall speed for quarterback. That's actually pretty good. Why is he a Juco? Can he play defense? No, he can't. He sucks. Can I move a tight end over to fullback? No. Wait, he's actually better at wide receiver than he is at tight end? Moreau. That's a problem. Oh, I'm losing major, major size at tight end. That sucks. That's going to hurt. Losing major size. Will I play a game tonight? Uh, possibly. Yeah, I gotta leave him, but he's got. It's, it's just a major size at tight end loss. I don't have a fullback either, especially since the way I gotta. I don't have the quarterback speed as I did last year because Thomas Sirk had quite a bit of speed on him, and I don't know if I want a 68 overall quarterback being my backup. A 6'2 tight end, exactly what I'm saying. What up, David? See if the tight end can play old line. He's probably too small. Uh, maybe not. Oh god, no, he can't play old line. Nope. Nope. Too small. I think that's all we're gonna do for position changes, though. Do I want to keep my changes? Absolutely. I think we gotta move on to the next stage, though. We gotta go to the training results. Just to see, you know, where we're gonna be as far as. Uh, schemes go because I don't know where we're gonna be as far as like um, as a two quarterback system or we're gonna run a one quarterback system I don't know this is gonna be an interesting year um, 
Kingsley and Fetty. Um, yeah, he's probably going to be my starting quarterback next year. Um, Reed Herring, 74 overall. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting year coming up next year. Interesting, we got two running backs that are going to be really fun to use. Darrell Scott and Devin Anderson. They're both, like, really similar to each other in, as far as, like, stats go. They're not too far apart from each other. Um, not a big receiving core, though. Oh, my God, this is weak. 79, 76, 75, 74, 73. Uh, we got. I mean, we don't have. We don't have. You know, size at tight end, but we got some speed at least. It's better than nothing. 81, 77, 75, which is way better than I thought. 77, uh, 70. What up, Sims lover? Welcome back, my brother. Uh, 79 at left end, right end. We have 78 with Justin Brown, Alex Turner, 71 overall. Uh, CJ Maben 70. Yeah, it's going to be a good running back combo for sure. The uh, the problem that I have with it is that, you know, is it is it going to be... Like, am I going to run a two-quarterback system again like I did last year? I don't think so. What up, Jermaine? Giannis Bowden, uh, 88 overall. We got We got decent corners at least. Some of them jumped up really high up there and overall. We still got two years left of uh, Devin Sutton ahead of us too. So we're going to have quite the year ahead of us here. Um, Cody Sargent, 82 overall. Uh, we still have two years left of Colby Gore too. So I, I don't think we're worried about corners. They actually kind of improved in that area. Tim Mervin, 89 overall. And we still have two seasons left of him. That's that's awesome. Uh, 79 overall, Jake Verity. Uh, 79 overall, Caleb Pratt. Best player, uh, player is Gardner Minshew. Worst player that trained was Ben Norris, a redshirt freshman. Not really going to get much playing time, I feel like. Not going to get much playing time. All right, the fun part begins. Cutting players. Well, we have to. You said uh, Tim Ur Yeah, Tim Urban's really good. 89 overall. Oh, we don't have to cut anybody, really. 67 players. No reason to cut anybody. Just registered a bunch of them. Hmm. Well, at least the good part is defense is a C minus. It is. The defense is kind of bad, but I kind of expected it. The defense is going to be bad for like a few seasons. Offense is going to be like, we're in the American athletic. Look, I can't, I don't really want to cut anybody though. That's the thing. I can't, I can't just cut this guy because I mean, he's a 64, he's a 64 overall, but he's only a freshman. Uh, plus, we got a bunch of senior. We got a bunch of upperclassmen here. We got a, a junior, a senior, and we got a freshman here. So Robert Stewart's gonna get a lot of playing time. I feel like this year, but these players could actually do something. We can't just cut people just because they are of low strength. I mean, we can give them. We gotta find a place for them in the system. Yeah, we need to. Uh, we need to buff up the old line in recruiting. That's that's absolutely. You're everybody's absolutely right when they say that. I mean, you're not wrong. The offensive line is weak. And we got one or two good recruits this year in, in um, I mean, he's not one of them. I know I got like a left tackle in there that's a fresh or a guard in there that's a freshman. Uh, that, that's not the only one, really? Kind of thought I did better than that. Hmm. Custom conferences. Yeah, we need to buff up the old line only because Gardner Minshew is not a scrambling quarterback like the game says he is. 69 overall speed is just not going to cut it. Sixty-nine overall speed is just not going to cut it out for us. 
So we need to we need to buff up the speed for sure, or the the, the greatness of the O line. Because if you look at my O line in UAB, you'll see that it's like you know it's actually really good. Hey, what's good, uh, Destro? We're just going through the off season of this in this dynasty here. We just completed the first season. Will you change conferences? Uh, probably not. Only because I feel like the team got worse than it. The team got a lot worse than it did the year before. Or at least in the defensive side. I mean, I, I won games last year that I probably shouldn't have. And that's a lot of them. Like, I should not have beaten Memphis twice. No way I should have beaten Memphis twice. No way I should... Well, I did lose... Speed is uh, uh, speed at all skills positions is how I recruit. Yeah, it's not a bad approach. I mean, speed isn't everything to me. I just want like, you know, good players. And Albert Armora just stole a home run from Atlanta. <laughs> um, I kind of like the conferences where they're at now. I mean, I could move to the ACC, but really, I'm just gonna get my butt kicked in that conference. I would rather wait another year before. Oh yeah, we got yeah we got my I got my butt kicked against NC State. It was pretty bad. Um, I would rather wait another year before we change conferences. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll uh, we'll keep it as is right now. Only because you know there's a lot of games that I just I feel like I didn't deserve to win last year. That is the only problem. Uh, let's go to bowl tie-ins. Automatic qualifier. Yeah, I feel like those are just fine. To the next stage, the preseason. Preseason's always nice and important. All right, custom schedule. Neutral site game, Bank of America Stadium, East Carolina versus South Carolina. And then we have North Carolina. And where's West Carolina? <laughs> Probably in Division Two, or the FC, or the FCS. Uh, Virginia Tech, Purdue. Interesting, really. Um. Can we have an instant comment? Can we have a instant comment? Oh, what do you mean instant comment? Your non-conference schedule, uh, make your non-conference schedule fun. Uh, South Carolina neutral site game. We have North Carolina, Purdue, Virginia Tech. Um, please create a player. I can't, I'm not gonna create a whole bunch of players uh, only because it's like, if I create one and I'm gonna create like a hundred and I don't want to spend the whole entire night creating a bunch of players. Especially since I still, as crazy as this sounds, I have work in the morning. Um, get ready to lose. Do you want me to play Purdue? I'll play Purdue. I don't mind playing Purdue. Is it at Purdue or is it? Okay, it's at home versus Purdue. I don't mind going to Purdue at all. We have Cincinnati, Memphis, Temple, UCF, USF, Connecticut, Houston, Navy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six home games, six road games. We can change this game. I'm not playing Alabama. I do not want to get that 
whole Alabama burn. What up, Ethan? I don't want to get an Al I don't want to get the Alabama burnout. I want to play fun teams. Um, and I also don't want to be ranked in the top 25. At least you're not play play Marshall. Put in Marshall. Is Marshall even in here? No, they're right there. Oh, it's a rivalry game. I didn't even. Oh, okay. Play Wisconsin. Wisconsin is in here. We could play Wisconsin. Um, Florida. Uh, there's. Then again, I don't want too many Big Ten teams in there. <laughs> I am not. I'm not getting Alabama burnout. That's not happening. We could go UCLA. Or we could just go open this week, and then we could go. Let's check the later end of the season. I well, we got Florida here. Auburn, Indy. Indiana's ranked 21st. Are you... Are you... I just caught that. Indiana is number 21. How? I, I'm like shocked. I'm like... Just, what? Indiana, number 21. That's crazy to me. Washington State at number 15. Huh, let's try that one out. IU is trash, IU sucks. <laughs> Dude, just for that, I'm gonna play Indiana. I'm gonna play Indiana like right here. I'm gonna play him at home. Or is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Six home games. Six home games, six road games. We got a couple of ranked teams in here. Indiana will lose their ranking way too quickly. Yeah, you're not wrong. Not wrong at all, man. Um, now, what's this? What is here? We have Clemson. We have. Kansas State. Kansas State's number 12? Bro. Oregon's 20. Not surprised by Oklahoma's ranking. Don't want to play UAB because I feel like I just throw the game. I remember when I when I Indiana lost to both Ball State and North Texas in 2011. Major Burns. Right? Indiana's trash. I could play Clemson. That would be cool. I'm gonna play Clemson. So now we got a B. We could, I mean, we either play Purdue or Indiana. I could put Purdue like right here in week two. FIU. Um, so now we, do we still have six home games? One, two, three, four, five, six. God, we got three road games right back to back to back. We could put, we could keep Purdue in there at the week two of the season. So I want to put the ranked games out on the road just because it'll be that much tougher. You know? So right now we're gonna keep it at a B minus. Um, it's not saying that the week schedule's weak or anything like that, but Marshall's definitely a good game to be playing. Uh, Purdue is as well. Uh, Clemson and Washington State. I don't know where Washington State's gonna be at this point of the year, but we'll see how it, it is. We'll keep Purdue, but we have to get rid of Indiana because we don't want to play from too many teams from one conference, you know. I am playing somebody ranked. I'm playing two ranked teams. I'm playing Clemson and Washington State. They're both 10 and 15, respectively. So, and Memf Memphis, for all we know, is probably a top 25 team at the end of the year anyway, because they have no competition inside the conference. 
beside on their side of the conference regardless. So Cincinnati is probably going to be a good team. Uh, UCF and USF could surprise people. Uh, Houston can definitely come out and surprise people. Navy it can as well. Uh, so we'll see. I, I kind of I like this schedule. It's a little interesting. The American Athletic is one of those conferences that you cannot sleep on. Uh, what do you think you may go in the regular season? Ohio State would get you ranked earlier. I'm not looking to get ranked early, though. I'm kind of like trying to sneak up the, the ladder, if you will. Uh, skip to recruiting. 11 and, <laughs> 11 and 1 with a Rose Bowl win. But I'd probably have to go 13 and 1 again, like I did last year. I don't want to be ranked too early, though. It's like, that's the thing. I don't want to go out and just play all the number one teams. That's the problem I'm going to run into, is that I, I here, here's like, there's a line here. Like, I want to kind of balance it out. I don't want to be like, oh, all Sin's doing is playing in all the number one teams and he's getting ranked too early. How come you're ranked this high and this early in the season? Hey, what's going on, Justin Rose fan? Thanks for the $3 donation. You rock, man. Thank you very much. Um, but welcome to the stream, my man. Thank you very much. Um... I like that. Uh, I like that. <laughs> Every time I get a donation, I gotta say that. Um, so it's like a, it's like a, it's a, it's a balancing act. Oh my God, Sid, you're up, you're ranked way too high earlier in the season with East Carolina. You know what the hell? Um, you know you can't have this this bad team being ranked this early. And then it's like, oh, if I balance it out, it's like. You know, oh, you're playing too many sucky teams. You no wonder you you're not playing anybody good. You know, your strength of schedule is garbage. You kind of have to balance it out, man. You you really do, and it's kind of hard to kind of do that. So I feel like in this one, we're gonna go look for some offensive linemen for sure. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. We gotta look for their interest levels. No four stars though. Ooh, we'll take a chance on this guy. I like it. I like that. <laughs> God, that's gonna be the biggest meme of the stream. I like that. No one stars though, my dudes. No one stars. Don't let me down. Oh, we might we might be able to get this guy. Might. He's from the state, so we got a chance. Ooh. Yikes. That is just ugly. And even from the state of North Carolina. Any good centers from the state of North Carolina? Oh, we got a. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I might find a diamond in there. Oh, not a Juco. Yuck. Gross. Gross, dude. Yuck. Ooh, a four-star recruit. Ooh, not bad. Not bad, my man. All right. We're definitely going to take a look at this guy. We got we to gotta take the ones that are at least first on the list. Ooh, four stars, two st two four stars right there. Mmm, I can smell, I can smell victory right here. Okay, um, three star strong safety. Oh, well, we definitely need one of those because Tim Urban's gonna graduate sooner rather than later. Uh, 83 overall quarter, 83rd ranked quarterback in the state or overall. If you see if there's four-star running backs from the Tar Heel State. Um, I could, yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, there's none. No four-star running backs from the state. Three-star is not bad, though. Uh, though I'm not looking for power backs. That's the thing. Four-star running backs. Four-star players from North Carolina, though. 
There's only a, there's a five star player, but we're gonna give a shot at him, but I don't know if we're gonna get him. Patrick Mark, 72 overall. We're gonna go after him. There's one quarterback from Canada. Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. 64 overall scrambler. Ew, yuck. One, there's nobody. Uh, are there any players from Canada? Marquise Simon, four star recruit tackle. Might as well go after him. Athletes that are in position for us. Any athletes with interest? No. Mmm. Spark has some athletes this year. Yeah, we'll see. Oof. Number one athlete, though. He wants to go to USC. Three-star running back, three-star quarterback. Uh, let's see if we can go second in interest. We got a three-star strong safety. Did we have another star strong safety up there? I thought we did. No. Oh, yeah, we did. I mean, we did. Marcel Key. But it's not bad to go after two. What are my pipeline states? I can check right after this. Um, pretty sure it's not a big list, though. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, what? Four-star athlete? What? Okay. Thank you. We got to bulk up defensively, too. Get all these corners. I'm pretty sure for North Carolina, the pipeline states are like um, Virginia, South Carolina, um, Tennessee, uh, West Virginia. Those are just guesses, though. I'm not 100% sure. We don't need skill positions, at least on the offensive side of the ball. Oh, wait. No, we don't need... Oh, no. He's a two-star athlete. Nope. We don't go after those. <gasps> oh. Oh. What? Oh, <laughs> what? How did this... Li Hello, you landed in my lap. <laughs> How did you land in my lap? I'm going to chase you. I'm coming for that booty. There's somebody at my door. Hold on one second, guys. No worries. It is. We're all good. Okay. So, um, back to recruiting. Any four-star recruits here? Come knock on my door. Any fifth? Um, I want four-star recruits. You landed in my lap. I'm coming for that booty. This guy is ninth on the list. You know what? I might as well just go after the number one athlete and see what happens. Nothing. It ain't going to hurt anything. I'm just going to go for it. Whatever. <sighs> we'll see. We got a few four-star athletes, though. I, I am not even mad. Not even mad. All right. Let's, let's blow some recruiting points. All right. Let's go for the highest overall players. Kenneth White, offensive guard. How did this, how did this happen? Ooh, ow, whoa, whoa. That is, that is beautiful right there. Uh, athlete Wendell Bryan, 80 overall. Jeremy Vogel, 78 overall. 
Don Jackson, 78 overall. Eh, stayed the same for Marquis si Simon. Bob Smith. Ooh, he kind of dropped. No bueno. 76 overall, Lance Johnson. Oh, hi there. How are you? Can I be your friend? You're fourth on our list. You are definitely... You are definitely getting, like, a lot of attention from me from now on. Um, that's not really happy with that one. Ooh. Okay. This one's a little bit lackluster. There's not really... Some of these guys are coming up and showing that they're more they're worth more than they are, so then the other ones are kind of like, eh. They're not losing a whole lot of overall, but... Ooh, hi there. Can we be friends? I like that one. <laughs> He's getting a scholarship. That's for sure. Ooh, I like that one too. Okay. Okay, um, we need to go to the depth chart. We need to go to the depth chart. Who here has seen the history of the world? The history of the world, I guess, video. And we need to redshirt players. Redshirt. Why is he on the team again? Redshirted as a junior. Get good. Redshirt all these guys. Redshirt this guy. Oh god, that video is hilarious to me. I love that video so much. It is so funny. It's still funny to this day. Even in like, it's gonna be like one of those timeless videos. Should I redshirt him? I'm going to. I'm gonna redshirt a junior. Ooh, do I do it to a senior? No. Redshirt all these guys. Oh, this is going to be a rough next few years. You know, John Flowers might actually make an impact as a freshman. I can see it. God, I wish I could redshirt you like twice. Holy shite. You're garbage. Gardner Minshew. I can't redshirt you, unfortunately. You're my starting quarterback. And these guys are my starting corners. Rod Stewart's going to start as a freshman. He's a starting... He's starting as a freshman. Ugh. Alright, let's see what kind of... Uh, let's see what kind of skill we can apply here. Yep. Oh no, I'm not gonna redshirt all my freshmen. I know which ones not to, to redshirt. I didn't redshirt a few of them because they're like they're starting material in the first starting week one. Gardner Minshew starting quarterback. Um, Devin Anderson and Darrell Scott as my halfbacks. Hmm. You know what though. You know what? I'm probably going to do this. Why not? I, I, I see no problem in doing this. Putting Darrell Scott as my fullback. Um, Malik Gray, Robert Stewart, DeAndre Ferrier as my wide receivers. Um, hmm.
Oh, you were in you were in your class. Oh, you have night classes? That's uh, or uh, depend. Well, you're in California, I think. So you probably just got home from like your last class or something. Um. Hmm. Do I? Uh, do I put? Sh yeah, we're gonna do that. Sometimes you just gotta be a little unconventional. Right and is fine. He's a starter, so I can't do it. Left outside linebacker is fine. Middle linebacker. Two to six. Ouch. John Flowers. I feel like John Flowers could actually be an impact player as a freshman. Hear me out on this, but I think I'm going to put him in a starting lineup. Eighty-two speed, eighty-two speed, mind you. His awareness could go up, but he's got the speed. He can sometimes catch. <laughs> uh, doesn't necessarily need to, but he has the speed to make some tackles. Hit power rating is pretty good as a freshman. If we give this guy playing time, I feel like he'll do just fine. Um, Giannis Bowden, 88 overall. Got a good solid set of corners. Cause I feel like if I use Gian if I use Flowers as my middle linebacker and he can get some nice jumps on the routes, like those screen passes that I like to pick off, he could do some damage. Uh, free safety. Who's going to be my kickoff returner this year? Debrels. I want my fastest dude out there. And that would be DeAndre Ferrier. Ninety one speed. That is my fastest guy. It's not a very good one, though. Thoughts on doing a Buffalo Dynasty or Ball State? Mm, not really. Um, not really in the cards because I've seen people do Buffalo and Ball State. Um, but still not a bad thought of doing a Dynasty for on the, at least on the YouTube platform. It's been done, I think. Um, as far as a personal Dynasty for people to do, I would think that's a nice challenge. Oh yeah, we gotta get skill trees from my offensive coordinator because he left. Like a oh wait, here he has wait, the all defensive coordinator is level four. I'm so glad my offensive coordinator stayed. That'd be that's so awesome. Um Again, here's the schedule for next year. The season for season two. We have Marshall, we have Purdue, uh, we have a bye week, and then we face Clemson, Navy, Houston, Connecticut, South Florida, Central Florida, Temple, Washington State, Memphis, and then Cincinnati. That's our schedule for this year, the season two. Uh, so as of right now, I don't think I need to go over really much anything else. I think I covered it all. We could start, we could go click on start season and see like, uh, you know, preseason reports and stuff for YouTube Dynasty, which team should I choose? Choose a team that hasn't been done before. That's how you get, that's how you get like, 
It, it sounds really stupid and really cheesy of me to say, but you get. Yeah, my secondary is not bad actually. If you want to, but if you want to get like um, some good channel traffic, do a dynasty that hasn't been done before. You know what I mean? D do a dynasty on YouTube that that hasn't been done on YouTube. Because this game is still widely popular. I don't see why the, you know, doing a South Alabama dynasty or a, an Iowa Hawkeyes dynasty that I did or um, Washington State that was already done by me. I did Ohio. I've done UAB. You know, do a dynasty that, has that you know, can get searched and make it interesting, of course. Got to make it fun. Got to make it interesting. Because that's why that's part of the reason why the ch why I chose East Carolina because I was like, huh, no one's ever done this one before. Let me grab that real quick. So top twenty-five preseason polls. Ohio State is number one, followed by Alabama at number two. Number three we have Oklahoma. Number four is Washington. Number five USC. Number six. Oklahoma State, number seven, Georgia, number eight, Auburn, number nine, Florida, number 10, Clemson, number 11, Stanford, number 12, Kansas State, number 13, Texas, number 14, Michigan, number 15, Washington State, number 16, UCLA, number 17, Louisville, number 18, LSU, number 19 is Arizona State, number 20, Oregon. Number 21, uh, Indiana. Number 22, West Virginia. Number 23, Northwestern. Number 24, Virginia Tech. Number 25, Penn State. It, hey, if Nevada hasn't been done before, you should go for it. Uh, where are we ranked? Iowa's number 29. My, my favorite college team is number 29. We're number 34. Dude, I've seen SMU be done. SMU was done before. Um, who is dead last? Who is dead last? UNC Charlotte. And then the University of Louisiana Monroe, Georgia Southern, North Texas, New Mexico, New Mexico State, and Texas State. That rounds out 120 through 126. Um, the worst team in the American Conference is Connecticut. Not surprising though, they kind of suck. Um, Coastal Carolina, we have uh, Middle Tennessee State, Bowling Green, um, Ball State, Troy, Old Dominion, San Jose State, Nevada, UCF, and Central Michigan. UAB, where is UAB ranked? That's kind of no. Number 86. That's not terrible, but I know they're better than number 86. They, they don't have a bad team either. I think with their conference, I think they're just... I think they can... Um, I think they can um, make a bowl game. So that's pretty much the rankings right there. Uh, conference outlook. Where do they have... They have us finishing at the top of the American East. USF, Cincinnati, Temple, US, or UCF, and UConn are in that order. In the West, they have Memphis finishing the top, uh, Navy, Tulsa, Houston, Tulane, Sam Houston State, or, or Southern Methodist. Southern Methodist. Where? Why did I say Sam Houston? What the frick? I'm I high. Uh, who is projected to win the Big 12? That would be Oklahoma. Then followed by Oklahoma State, followed by a bunch of other teams in here. Dead last is projected to be Texas Tech. Kansas is 86 overall with a 90 overall defense. How? I want to know how. I'll be waiting this season. I'm skeptical. Uh, number one, Ohio State. Not surprised. Iowa is supposed to be finishing sixth in the Big Ten overall. Uh, Illinois is supposed to be bottoming out the Big, the Big Ten. Not surprised. Uh... Conference USA is supposed to be wed led by Western Kentucky. Uh, finishing out at the bottom is UNC Charlotte. Uh, see, I don't know how I got Sam Houston out of that. I don't know. I, I don't know how. I must be on drugs or something. Not really. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Um, 
The Mac attack. Big 12 teams have no defense, and yet Kansas' defense is a 90 overall. Like, what? <laughs> Kansas can't even stop. Kansas can't even stop the bleeding if they got, like, a paper cut. Uh, Eastern Michigan is gonna is projected to win the Mac attack, and then Buffalo is supposed to finish out dead last. With a lot with the parity in the Mac, I'm going to say this is a crapshoot. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Buffalo makes a bowl game. Uh, Mountain West, San Diego State is projected to win that. Uh, New Mexico is finished projected to finish dead last. When I looked. Uh, when I played NA, as NAU in 12, I always had a few low, I always had a few low ranked defenses. I had a low ranked defense, even though I scouted players and they played good. Yeah, it's always about scouting. If you know how to do that, then you're going to do just fine. Projected to win the Pac-12 is Washington. Uh, projected to finish dead last is California. Um, SEC, of course, it's Alabama. Who else? Um, dead last, we have Vanderbilt. Jesus, even Kansas could beat Vanderbilt in, this, in the overall scheme of things. What? I'm, I'm just... Can you have comment? What do you mean, have comment? Projected to win the Sun Belt is Idaho! Everybody's like, Idaho! <laughs> I, everybody's ch chanting for Idaho, man. Projected to win the ACC is Clemson. And dead last, we have Wake Forest. Projected to finish dead last in the Sun Belt is Louisiana Monroe. So, not really surprised. Alabama, what a shocker. Ooh. Ooh. Alabama winning the freaking SEC. Who would have thought that? Kansas is a snake-bitten team. There, you're not wrong, dude. <laughs> uh, Heisman favorites. Uh, Cameron Petway is supposed to be winning the Heisman. J.K. Dobbins is projected to finish runner-up. Uh, Lamar Jackson did not go pro, and he's going to be a 99 overall, and he is third. Bo Scarborough is projected to be fourth. Jalen Hurts is projected to be fifth. I don't know why Jalen Hurts is a 95 overall. I don't think he's that great of a quarterback. He's good for what Nick Saban offers, but he's not a 95 overall. I would say at best he's an 86. Preseason All-Americans. Any of them from my school? Probably not. Oh, wait. Never mind. Tyree Owens. Uh, Giannis Bowden. Cody Sargent. Tim Irvin. Iowa punter. <laughs> the great devourer of Ninjago bit Kansas. <laughs> that's that's probably what happened. No second teamers. Ramparonis. Jake Browning. Wow, he's still in there? Okay, he's a 99 overall, so that's kind of broken. All-American. Not even my quarterback. Oh, no. I guess it's not. That's... Yeah, I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to go get some, like, I'm going to use, like, go to the bathroom and something like that. I'll be gone for, like, a little bit. So I'm going to end the stream after this, and I'm going to come back in, like, 15 minutes, and I'm going to be like, yo, time to play the first game, though. All right. Uh, Giannis Bowden, Cody Sargent, uh, Tim Irvin. Uh, anybody on second team all American all AAC Corey uh, Colby Gore Karma done y'all are just y'all you're just ripping Kansas a new everybody's just ripping Kansas a new one like something, something got into Kansas is like cereal, and just like someone injected steroids into Kansas is cereal, because <laughs> there's no way they're supposed to be this good. Uh, we're at 81 overall. We improved actually on the defense, which is surprising. Uh, we didn't really improve much on the offense. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard though, because we have to run a different scheme this year because we don't have a scrambling quarterback. 
Um, we'll see though. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I will uh, be back in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna end stream for now and then be back in 15 minutes to start game one against Marshall. And I will see you guys then in about 15 minutes. We're gonna go over the recruiting then and we're gonna get ready to kick some butt week one. All right, see you in 15.